Hello world, my name is Aaron Green. Welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you for watching. Today is November 7th, 2020. It's a great day. It is a day of celebration for us here in the U.S. and hopefully for the world. It feels a lot like rebirth, to be honest with you. And um, it's with that in mind that I would like to talk about the real reason for this video, which is to discuss my dear friend and um, sadly dearly departed friend, Frank Wallace, who would definitely have loved to have been here for this. Um, a quick perusal of this channel will reveal that the overwhelming majority of videos are by Frank. Uh, Frank not only performed for the videos, he composed a lot of the music that is featured in these videos. He recorded himself, he edited them, he mastered them, and basically uh, did it all soup to nuts, and leaving <laughs> a very, very big pair of shoes to fill. Um, the the last time that Frank was here recording, uh, we were pretty, it was obvious that this was going to be the last time. And in spite of his illness, he did an, a tremendous job. It was amazing, uh, masterful performances. And we recorded in this space with this beautiful painting here behind him. It's a painting that was painted for me by one of my great heroes, a man named Ashley Bryan. It is of an African folk tale called The Raising of the Sun, and it felt um, appropriate that it should be uh, in the picture with Frank, and uh, I put it there to, to offer whatever energy and encouragement that it could uh, to see him through his recording session. Uh, Frank was someone who, you know, uh, was a tremendous inspiration to me as a guitar maker. He was truly one of my great friends. He was basically family and uh, someone that I collaborated with um, regularly, not only on the videos, but would show him instruments. He would come down and meet people in my studio. Uh, he was an integral part of my life. Um, this particular instrument I'm holding here was his beloved 1964 Fleta. This instrument was the one that he was playing when I first met him in 1995. And of all the guitars that he had, I think this one was probably in his possession the longest. It is, if nothing else, I think the repository of his musical soul. And um, when I play it, I, I hear Frank, to be honest with you. Um, I'm very happy to be able to announce that these videos will be continuing under the uh, direction and efforts of Christopher Ladd, who is not only a very dear friend of mine, but was uh, also a dear friend of Frank's. Uh, Chris, as you will hear, is a tremendous virtuoso. He is a wonderful interpreter of Frank's music. He collaborated with Frank, and I know that these videos continuing with Chris would only make Frank very, very happy. Um, it is our goal with these videos to perpetuate Frank's legacy as a composer, to make sure that the guitar world is aware of his, his tremendous amount of works, virtuosic, uh, beautiful musical offerings that he left behind for all of us. And it is my hope that by doing so, uh, we keep his memory alive in the hearts and minds of those who love the guitar and hopefully inspire others to follow suit and to, to learn his music. Thank you so much for watching.